This is Lost Frequencies with Are You With Me on Vibe 107.6. It's Saturday evening. It's Luke if you here till midnight. It's 10 minutes past 11. Uh, delighted to say I'm joined by the one only Karen Harding. Hello. How are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm really excited and looking forward to this. So um, awesome. yeah, it's, it's great Me to too. have you here. Thanks a lot for coming by. Oh, no problem. Um, so yeah, let's get straight into it. So the new series of The X Factor has like recently started... Uh, you still watching it? You fan of the X Factor still? I won't lie. If I have a Saturday night or a Sunday night, as it has been, I will watch it because I love like just seeing people singing. You yeah. Know? So yeah. like, I'm gonna tune into that because it's like in my blood to watch the artists and whatnot. And I think this year is actually really good. Yeah, um, I actually haven't managed to catch an episode of the oh. X Factor currently. Oh, okay then. Um, <laughs> well, it's that whole like six week. I mean, have you seen the adverts? It's like everyone's going on. A, well, it. It's like, I don't know, they think it's some sort of sci-fi movie or something that mm. adverts. The music's a little bit intense, but the singers are great, aren't it? Yeah, I'm sure they are. So you were on X Factor yourself. Mm-hmm. Do you reckon, like, you got anything out of it? Is, is, did it open any doors for you? I think it made me, like, a bit more confident in, like, w- what I want to do. Like, in the X Factor, like... I, I think it's great for like confidence building and stuff because like you know you you have to you're putting yourself up against so like so much competition. There's like a lot of talent in the room when you're there and you're trying to perform to your yeah. best ability. Um, but I think I just came out of it and I was obviously a bit upset that I didn't get through because it's all a big hoo ha when mm-hmm. you're there. Um, when I when I finished when I left, I just thought you know what I'm gonna I'm gonna make some music and I'm just gonna just keep going. And I've just made us even more determined to be successful. And successful. You were pretty successful, I guess. So, um, um, you've also almost. recently announced uh, <laughs> that you're touring with Sigma. Yes. Which is um, absolutely oh, massive. Like, so how are you feeling about that? Yeah, there's, I think there's like 11 dates and I've never been on a tour with anybody before. Oh, really? So, so um, yeah. Just all of the venues look amazing. Um, like, there's just loads of places in the UK which I've like always wanted to gig at as well. Like, we've got a gig in the Roundhouse at London, in London, which I'm so excited That's about. That's a great venue to have yeah, a gig at. Yeah, I've been there before and like I just thought, oh, I wish I could gig here. And yes, finally I am. And I'm back up in Newcastle as well, which is great. Back to your hometown see. as well. So yeah, yeah, I'm going to get all my mates to come and yeah. um, <laughs> give us a bit of a cheer. So <laughs> uh, Yeah, so let's talk about your latest single, Feel Good. Because we absolutely love it here at Vibe. Um, it Thank sounds you. great. Uh, so how did the opportunity to work with Blonde come about? Like, what, what was going on there? Well, um, I've worked with Blonde in the, in the past. And um, we've, um, we've like, written a couple of songs beforehand. And, and I think they, they had this song and they were like, well, just basically asked us if I wanted to vocal on it. And, um, I mean, we, we, I was really excited about it from the moment like I got played it. And yeah. I just, it just really, like, lends itself to that whole 90s house genre with, like, the big vocals, which is, like, which I am all <laughs> on that. So, yeah, and I, I, I really like, I, I just really like the song. And, and they said, do you want to do it? I did it. And, um, yeah. And, yeah, and, and we yeah, love we it. Go. Thank we you. Love Thank it. you so, so much. I tell you what, let's play it. Would you like to introduce it for us? Yeah, um, this is Karen Harden, and this is a song that I did with Blonde called Feel Good. It's Blonde and Karen Harding on Vibe 107.6. It's called Feel Good. Karen Harding's still with me. Hi, hi, hi. Hi. So, yeah, that huge tune from you there. We're absolutely loving it here. Thank you. Um, so, your tune, Say Something, was absolutely huge wasn't it? it it was big surprisingly yes it um, was um yes it was a big shock to me um but truly appreciated because uh, i was very nervous about it and and everyone seemed to love it which is great yeah indeed as well as that song as well it's, it's, it's growing at the moment because it's, it's getting huge as, as you said in the clubs as well um but yeah we're excited to see like you got anything coming up in the future are you planning on any albums maybe yeah we're in the process actually now um of getting the next single ready um and then then the album is getting slowly but surely getting put together mm-hmm. i didn't realize how much work goes into an album and choosing the songs because for the past year and a half i've been working with like loads of different people um and getting like loads of different material together and i think well we'll have like over 100 songs or something to choose <laughs> from which is amazing but also really difficult because i love them all equally yeah. they're like my little children <laughs> that I don't want to like let go so hopefully we can just put like a hundred songs on the album and then I'll be happy that'd be great that'd be, that'd be just a massive deluxe album yeah. hundred songs yeah yeah I'd love to see I that I'd love for that <laughs> um, so with your tour of Sigma you're planning on 
releasing that new single around there? Uh, I'm not sure actually because um, we've we've filmed the video, um, which I can't wait for it to come <laughs> out, um, and. I, I think we'll just, I mean, I'm going to be performing it live. I'll be performing it live tonight at my gig in, in Oceana too. Yes. Um, and yeah, I think I think we'll just see, we'll see how it goes. And, and then, I can, then I can get really excited about it when I know for sure. Yeah, definitely. So, I think it's about time we put you on the spot and asked you a few random questions. Are you, are you up for doing that? Yes, I totally am. Good, because yes. uh, Simeon was saying you'd be worried about it. So there's nothing to be worried <laughs> about at all. I'm going to have 100% faith in myself that I can do this. Yes, and um, um, oh later on as well, we're going to be playing Limit to the Minute, which is a game I've got going on my show, so that's going to be a lot of fun as well. Okay. Uh, but I've got a few questions for you first, though. So, okay. Harry Styles or Justin Bieber? Justin Bieber. Tau no Towie or Geordie Shaw? <laughs> God. It's a tough one. Joan Shaw because they're from. I'm from Newcastle, even though I'm hometown. Sort of you got yeah. you got a stick of your roots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what's the worst date you've ever had? Um, I think it was when I rocked up and the guy said to us, um, "You look like a school teacher." Oh god! I was like, <laughs> right. Um, so I'm just gonna go home now. Yeah. That must have been quite awkward. <laughs> It was very awkward, actually. Yeah. Remember it now, I just think, why did I even... What was your reply why, to that? Like, what would you even I reply? Just said, just... Well, well, at least I'm dressed nicely. I think he was, like, wearing sweatpants or something. I don't know. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, I was like, this is really awkward because we clearly aren't... This is not right. Have you ever seen the show on Channel 4, First Dates? Yes, I love it. I love First Dates. I love those... Like, what... I love dinner date and first dates because it's just so like, although it's a little bit cringe around just the edges. Just at times a bit cringy. Yeah, but everyone loves that. Um, I, I really like it when they actually get together. Yeah. I, I think it's really, really nice and then they give each other a little kiss at the end. But also, I really, really enjoy it when they just can't stand each other. Mm. And then mm. they go to the toilets and call the mates and they're like, oh my God. Have you ever done that? Guy. Ever been on date and you thought, you know, I'm going to the toilet, ring my mate. Oh, he's all right. <laughs> You've done everywhere, um, haven't you? No, nah, actually, I don't think so. Maybe, like, send, like, a sneaky text or something where I'm just like, yeah. what am I doing? Uh, Which was probably on that date, to be honest. I haven't been on very many dates. Oh, well, there you go. So, what's, <laughs> uh, what's the worst thing that could ever happen to you whilst performing? Like, if anything could go wrong, Ooh. people not turn up, booze. Well, that's obvious. Like, the obvious is, like, booze and people mm. not turning up. But usually the people who are there are really, are really nice. Um, and they get into it just because I'm getting into it so much. But I think it'll probably either be um, a heel snapped in the middle of the performance, yeah, um, or like there was like a massive gust of wind and <laughs> my skirt blew up over my head or something. I don't know. That'd, That'd be, be pretty pr bad. Yeah. Yeah, it would be. I mean, that's like. I mean, I've, I think I've had dreams about those things happening <laughs> to us before, but. Well, let's hope nothing like that ever happens, and especially not tonight. Yeah, let's hope so. Uh, that'd, that'd be great <laughs> I'll, have, if that I'll have a spare pair of shoes in case in it case. goes wrong. Yeah. yeah, definitely come prepared. So, <laughs> uh, as I said earlier, I've come up with a game show on my show here at Vibe uh, called Limit to the Minute. Okay. And we want you to play along today and see if you can set a new high score. Right. Uh, so how it works is I'm going to play a minute of ten clips of songs, okay? And all you have to do is wait till you've heard them all and see how many you come up with. It's pretty simple. Okay. Okay, so it's going to be quite exciting. Uh, currently, <laughs> yes. we had uh, someone called Callum at the top of the leaderboard who actually called in a few weeks ago, uh, managed to get 18 points, which is uh, six songs correctly, so you've got to be six. Okay, so have I got to say the singer and the song? Just just say the song. Okay. okay. Just say the song. So okay. are you ready to do this? So you're going to play them and then I have to remember them and then tell you at the end? Yes. Okay, and then. You'll have 20 seconds and there's going to be a countdown. It's going to get really quite scary. So. Okay, then. Okay, let's do this. There's a limit to the minute with Karen Harding on Vibe.
Sharon, you have 20 seconds oh, to name as many hot. as you can. Starting right now. Okay, shut up and dance with me. How deep is your love? Um, I think it was, I don't know if it was blank space. Love me harder. Um, oh my goodness me. Pa- Black Widow. Um, what on it? Oh my God, what's that? Um, <laughs> running out of time. Oh my God, I don't know. This is so hard. Um, love me like I can. I never love you like I can. Um, Time's oh up. Oh my God, that's so hard. You made that so hard with that extra, oh, that extra quite scary difficult. music. The countdown yeah. really does. How many should, how much you get, Simeon? Simeon's just counting up Karen's score. She got six. Six right. That's not bad, is it? That puts you to the top of the leaderboard. Oh my God. It does. Yes. It gives you top of the leaderboard 18 points. Yeah. Which is absolutely amazing so now everyone calling into vibes gonna have to beat karen harding on limits of the minute oh yes nice one (laughs) tell you what let's get (laughs) into your track say something next yes let's do that it's karen harding's huge track say something on vibe 107.6 still with me karen how you doing is it wrong that i'm still dancing like a crazy fool to that song no not at all (laughs) i think everyone everyone's dancing along Uh, to like a crazy fool to that song (laughs) Uh, it's absolutely massive. We love it. Um, Thank you. So we've got you for a few more minutes. So a couple more questions to ask you. Yeah. Uh, one of the questions we have is what is one? Of, what's, what's the best performance you've had so far? Ooh. Um, well, this year has pretty much been jam packed with performing, um, which is like one of my favourite things. Actually, like I love the studio, but performing yeah. is just because it's like that instant reaction. It's great. And I think probably number one was um, Park Life. Um, it was my first festival. I had my band with us and we played main stage. And there were just thousands of people there. And I couldn't believe how many people actually turned up mm-hmm. to like, watch my performance. And it was just like, I was so nervous as well. I was going to say, sick. how were your nerves for that? Yeah. That must have been... I was Because when I was with the band as well, it was like our first proper gig and it was huge. And the stage was... And the first song came on and it's like an intro and I walked out too late. So I had to run to the microphone oh because I didn't realise how big the stage was. Um, well, that pretty much goes to show how nervous I actually was. When did the nerves well. start like kicking in with that? Like, do you wake up in the morning and you think, oh God, or is it kind of like as the day progresses... Um, as the day progresses, usually when I start putting stuff into bags, like when I'm when I, like my outfits or whatever, and then like starting to like get ready, makeup and all that things. And then, but the worst part of it is just before you're about to go on when you hear when you hear them like, "Oh, are you ready for Karen Hardin?" Mm-hmm. And then like you hear like like the screeches or whatever, and then I feel a little bit sick, and then I'm like, <laughs> "Okay, then let's just just get on with it," and then it sort of disappears. And it, yeah, really just enjoys it and it just goes yeah, as quick as it Adrenaline is like to the max. And then when I'm finished, I can't hear anything because I'm just so hyped up. Um, but that's, that's, it's, it's, always like, it's always just a great feeling every time. Yeah, well, uh, we're just about running out of time then. So uh, we're really excited to hear what music you're going to come up with in the future. We'll definitely be listening out for it. Uh, so make sure you're checking out Karen's new single, which is available to download now from iTunes. Uh, so if people want to interact with you, Karen, and get in touch on social media, I guess, and websites. Yeah, um, I'm on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and it's all just under at Karen Harding. Um, so you'll be able to find me. I post up, um, I regularly post up pictures of um, cute animals as well on days when I'm feeling Gotta love groggy. a cute animal on Instagram. But Instagram. Yeah, and lots of selfies as well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I'm, I'm on um, just, it's all Karen Harding. I'm really easy to find um, and all my videos on YouTube as well. So yeah, check out Karen Harding's uh, social media pages for cute animals and selfies. <laughs> uh, thanks so much for stopping by. It's been absolutely great fun to talk to you. Thank you for having us in. Thank you. <laughs>